What's up, guys? It's a good old-fashioned movie night of Rooney. Woo. Much needed. How many hours you work? Uh, I, I don't know. I always get overtime now, so... I lost count. I can't... I don't know. You said that the 788 bin is, like, there, revamped. There's some old ones in there, but there's also some new ones. Wait, you already, didn't you already buy that? No, I bought the European one. The European one? This is, okay, this is one that, that like, it looks very cool, the cover. Uh-huh. Give me that Wait, pack. let me see. Wait a minute. This is all three Rambos? Oh, wait, no, no, no. Rambo. It's, it's a Copland lockup. For $7? Yeah, seven eighty. Put that over here. Wait, so you have European Vacation and that one? Yep. You have the two with the boobs. Yeah. The rest of them are like PG-13. Oh, they... Thank you. You're welcome. This one almost got me. Hey. Kyle? Dennis, your dream, your dream is gonna, can, can, can come true now. You can finally wash your hair with a Ninja Turtle. It's on. Price was knocked down. I think the last time it was like three dollars and some cents. Now it's two fifty. So I gotta get one. I think I might do the chocolate one. It's gonna be like a kid's night. Oh, it's gonna taste so bad. Hi hey guys, what's up? So we're back at home. We got a lot to show you guys, but first off, let's take let's take our buzzball medicine. Whoa! Wait, let them smell it. Wafting, wafting. Oh my gosh, I just opened mine up. I could smell the alcohol from here. What is this? 13%? Do you smell mine? Smell mine. I just smell alcohol. I it know, like right? Vodka. <laughs> That's chocolate? Yeah. Was it cocoa or chalk teas? Chalk teas. It smells like chalk. It actually tastes like a chocolate shake. No. I'm not kidding. It then like you get, vodka. Then you get the, like this aftertaste that's just pure vodka. <laughs> Overdue blue. A stupid title. <laughs> Ooh, what the heck is this? <laughs> I don't know what that flavor is. For two fifty though, yeah. that's like a drink at a bar. That's that's not a bad uh, deal. I got the. I guess I got the kitty version though. You got the adult. Wow. It's been a long week, man. Drink as you show things. Mm. Oh, that doesn't taste good. <laughs> <laughs> I went uh, a day ago, and this is, I didn't see this in there. I was digging through there, because I'm like all, all excited about all these new releases. They Well, not new releases, but all the new releases to the <sighs> 788 bin. And mm -hmm. this I did not see. You can't own European Vacation, but not oh, that no. one. You, you need kidding? that one. Wait, do I have them all now? Do you have Christmas? Yeah. Do you have Las Vegas? No. That's the one. Do you feel do you feel something? Chocolate. Yeah. I feel like I'm a drunk kid on chocolate. Alright, so we got some McDonald's. I shouldn't do that. <laughs> They're not wrapped very well. <clears throat> Alright. <laughs> and I got some Reese's or Hezier. Tradition, do it. Oh yeah, we gotta make it rain. I feel it. <clears throat> Wow, for two fifty, right? You feel the buzz? <laughs> in your balls? Make it rain! <laughs> um, from Walmart, I also got vacation. Hey, you stole that from me. Cool. This is my favorite one. No, Christmas is my favorite than yeah, this one. Yeah, Christmas is my favorite. And then Vegas and then European. And then... So now you know that I work at Family Video. The cat is out of the bag, whatever that means. They do nothing with their Disney points, with the little slips with the Disney points. Usually they just throw them out. And I was just like, what are you doing? You're just throwing them out. They're like, yeah. I'm like, you could buy Blu-rays with those. That, that, that's like money down the drain. I know. So I'm like, give them to me. And so I gave you guys a whole bunch of them. I've been using uh, a lot of them. I saved up enough points to get Tangled 3D. What's missing, Dennis? Uh, looks like you're missing a slipcover. Hmm. A slipcover! Great, I'm not ungrateful, I'm not ungr but no slipcover! 
And then I was had again. <laughs> I was had again. This is bad. This is a good one. This, this is, is a really bad. good one. Okay. I walked into his room and saw this sitting oh. on the chair, and I'm like, this looks a little weird. You know, you should show them and see if they can spot it out. Okay, so if you put in three codes before March, whatever, the, the end of March, then you get a free movie, and there are four choices. And I chose, oh, look, Cars, Blu-ray. I chose that one. What's odd about this? Let me give you a hint. It's DVD and Blu-ray in a DVD case. I never thought I'd see you throw a slipcover like that. It's not mine. It's not mine. I'm giving. I'm gonna give this to my nephew. No, I'm. I'm gonna give this to my nephew. I took the. I took the points. You took the points. <laughs> took the points. The rest. You, you are very greedy. <laughs> but honestly, it's just the case that ruins. I can't put it in my Blu-ray collection. So anyway. I also got Tron Legacy. I forgot to go get it. I'm too lazy and drunk to go get it now, but I'll show it in the next video. But then I also got, I guess I saved up. How did I get this? Did I buy this? You bought that? Oh, I bought this. <laughs> he doesn't even know what he bought. <laughs> Overdue Blue. I will get you again. <laughs> Wait a minute. I showed this in the last update. <laughs> did you? Yeah. Yeah. I got Hunchback and the, no and the, and the Notre Dame. I got Hunchback and the Notre Dame. Okay. Enough, but enough Disney. It has nothing to do with the rest of the night. It's going down. You know what tonight is. Boom, bam! We picked it up. <laughs> what was that? I don't know. We picked it up, man. Texas Chainsaw. Not in 3D, just the regular standard version. It's going down. Me and Dennis have been wanting to see this for a long time. Why? Because everyone hates this movie, and we can't figure out what, what could anyone hate about this. The boys from Dead Pit Radio, they like this movie. And I trust them. They're the kings of all radio. They're the, they're, wait, what? <laughs> they're the kings of horror talk radio, and they actually like this movie, but that is the only positive review I've heard of this movie. Tonight's mission is figure out why people hate this movie. Well, I know I like bad movies, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to like it. I don't. <laughs> I like Grown Ups too, but, and I like Batman and Robin as well, but I do not like bad movies. So... <laughs> We'll totally understand why people hate this movie. So tonight's mission is to see why people hate Texas Chainsaw in 3D, but not in 3D. Maybe the 3D suck, you know? Maybe we'll actually like it because it's not 3D. So congratulations to 31 Film Talk. He did a live stream and he broke the blue tube record. Guess how long he was on live stream. How oh. long? 11 hours. What? 11 hours. Straight. Can we beat this? We don't have time, dude. Let's do it right now. I'm off tomorrow. Are you off tomorrow? I'm off tomorrow. Well, then let's do it now. <laughs> you just totally got hamburger all over your face. <laughs> you just... <laughs> I don't think I can do it. <laughs> Let me roll it up. Hold on. <laughs> it's like a taco, but a hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I don't know what, what just happened. What are you doing? Calm down. I'm gonna choke on my burger. Anyway, so we'll see you after the movie. Like if you like buzz balls. <laughs> I'm not sure I would like it. Alright. Mm. See you after the Texas Chainsaw. Mm. <laughs> what if? Oh my gosh. We're an hour into this movie. I understand. <laughs> this is awesome. I know. I love this. It is. It's fun, but I, I, I can understand. understand why people hate it because from a horror aspect, okay, yes, but from a hilarious, like, kind of funny, like this, this is I, I'm well, laughing during this. This is kind of like, yeah, no, it's entertaining. Wow. I don't know where to. St well, we'll we'll review it later, I guess. But um, where's the food? In the freezer? Yes. Oh, okay. Good. <laughs> There's a lot of blood. <laughs> I think we're gonna follow the blood. <laughs> mm, uh, oh. Oh. oh, dun dun. Smiley pieces for you. <laughs> That's right. Look at this. The smiley faces are, uh, I guess, uh, formed mashed potatoes. What'd you get? Cheese wheel. Okay, so let's take a look at what you got here. This doesn't look too bad. Doesn't look that 88 bad. 88 cents. 
Still, all the cheese is on this side. It's like, oh, boo-hoo. Smells good. At least yours isn't scary looking. But look at how scary mine is. <laughs> <laughs> look at this one. You should drop it in the ketchup. Drop the potato in the ketchup and let them bleed from the eyes. <laughs> oh, that's that's scary. <laughs> I mean, look at that plate. That plate is so clean. Mm -hmm. Then you look in here, it's like, <laughs> what the hell happened? It looks like just like a cheeseburger just vomited in here or something. Yeah, on the box, mine look like smiley faces, and in real life, they just look like demon children smiling at me, wanting to eat my soul. Eat me! <laughs> what the hell? This meal kind of fits the quality of this movie. We're going to finish it. I'm enjoying it, though. We're an hour and five minutes into it, and we'll see you when it's all done. Well, we finished it. All right, really quick, the plot. Basically, Leatherface's cousin, who's a really, really hot girl. Mmm. She's pretty hot for a white girl. As a baby, she was adopted by some rednecks. She had no idea. She had this dark past. And then she grows up and she inherits this house, the house that Leatherface currently dwells in. Blah, blah, blah. Leatherface kills all of her friends. And then at the very end, for some reason, because they're family, the girl and Leatherface kind of become friends. And they, they team up. They they're team family. up. They team up against some rednecks. And, yeah. and she becomes like cool with Leatherface. Like, oh, he's my cousin. I like him. I'm gonna bring him some food I, I and live with him from now on. She had no reaction to anything, though. All her friends were then, killed by Leatherface, and then suddenly, oh, he's my well, cousin? Then, then I like she, him. And then she saw her dead what, dead grandma sitting there in the room, and she's just like... Yeah, she slowly walks towards it. Okay, I don't know what's Slowly walks towards here, it, and then after two minutes... Walk away. And after two minutes of looking at the dead Hello? grandma, she Crazy. runs away. The thing that I like about it though is is that it was different but it also made you feel like bad about him it was, it was like oh no he's actually gonna die the, the rednecks were kind of beating up yeah. Leatherface and we kind of felt bad for Leatherface so like, the tables just turned and it's like oh to the people that didn't like this movie I understand why I've seen the first movie and the first movie is really dark and really raw and really brutal and really ugly like when the movie ends you just feel kind of dirty inside and this movie, it felt a bit more mainstream. All the characters were really, really pretty looking, and there was some humor thrown in. It didn't take itself seriously all the time. And then you sympathize with Leatherface, and by the very end, you do not fear Leatherface at all. If anything, you just feel bad for him. But as for me, I enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun watching this for what it was. Compared to the first movie, yeah, this wasn't very good. But on its own, it did what I think it set out to do, which was just be entertaining. I know what movie one and B Jr. from Endurance Productions complained about this was when Leatherface is going through the carnival and he's passing all those people and he does not kill one person. I yep. mean, I can understand what he's, they're all talking about, like, oh, there's hundreds of kids. Mm -hmm. well, he has his goal set on this one person. Yeah, Leatherface is more thoughtful in this movie. He, he doesn't he get is. distracted. He is. I mean, okay, because you see him, like, checking off these cops and killing the them. The rednecks, yeah. He's not just killing people for giggles. Yeah, this this Leatherface does not have ADD. He has morals. This Leatherface is on Ritalin. He's more focused. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Did you finish? No. I didn't finish either. These taste horrible. And they look scary. They scare me. Ooh, this doesn't feel like cheese. This is really it watery. Like... It tastes like watered-down cheese. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, what is it? M Michelinas? Yeah, stay away. I know it's really cheap, but just stay you away. You pay for what you get. Oh, that, that clock's an hour behind. It's 3.30 in the morn. <laughs> Oops. Time for Betty Bye. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you in the next video. Ah, oh, I just spilled water all over me. Ta-ta.